Here are a couple of quick tips to help get rid of color banding. I run into this every once in a while. We can see these different stripes that happen in a render. Sometimes it happens with compression, sometimes it just happens straight inside of After Effects. So I'm going to show you a couple of ideas to help get rid of this. This happens when the colors that you're using in a gradient are too close together. So you have this kind of dark gray here and black up here. So if I go in and change this back to the default, we get a nice ramp from black to white. Now this probably won't show up uh, in YouTube with YouTube compression. This probably looks really banded. Uh, but on my screen here, this is a fairly smooth gradient. In fact, most of the examples that I'll show probably won't show up through YouTube, sadly. But the principles of using some of these tools to reduce this will help, uh, hopefully help out in future projects for you. But there is a little bit of banding going on here. But if we were to go through and drag this down much darker, you're going to see a lot more banding. Just because the, the colors are super close together. So here's a few ways of how to get rid of that, or at least minimize it. The first one I usually do is if I'm using a ramp like this, I will go over to the ramp scatter and drag this up uh, pretty much until it goes away. What this is doing is adding a little bit of noise into the gradient to give it some variation for when it renders so that it's got a little bit more colors to work with. There is a little bit of banding. I hope you can see this with uh, uh, YouTube compression. The first thing that I usually do when I run into this is I make sure that I'm working in 16 bits per channel. After Effects by default renders things out at 8-bit. Go over here and option click or alt click if you're on PC and that often helps. Another thing that I've found that I've run into is when using the uh, classic lens flare in here, you get it a lot with these. So I use this often just to get a quick flare. Now that we're in 16-bit, After Effects is telling us that uh, this plugin is an 8-bit plugin. It will still render fine, it just won't use all of the colors that it would be ideally. So what I do to help get rid of this is to give it some more color. I usually start with either some noise, and just it doesn't take a lot usually just one, sometimes you can get away with half a percent sometimes less to get rid of the, the banding. If you can see the difference between the two this is with banding and without. Just a little bit of a difference. Again this might not show up on YouTube but trust me it looks good over here. And to get rid of the rest of the grain that shows up out here in the black just go drop some curves on it and uh, just color it a little bit. This way you get a smooth gradient from one color to the other. Another idea that's a little more render intensive but also works is the add grain. It has this little preview square because it's quite a, a render hog intensive as you can see. This is again way too much. So I usually drop down the intensity uh, and the size sometimes too. This is again just another way of getting some more co uh, color and noise variation. You can go back and blend this with the original to make this not as strong of an effect. Another solution I've seen for this is to add a four color gradient and uh, back the opacity off. And just backing the opacity off of the original. Change the transfer mode to something like color. This usually gives us just a little bit more color in what's going on so that it has something to render out.
but that's something to keep on your Batman Arsenal tool belt that could be helpful in the future.